Hi and welcome to the student record data entry system with a search function. Now I'm going to show you guys how this works. Supposing we want to enter new data, we can always reset and enter new student data there. And if you notice, as soon as you enter the student ID, it's automatically converted to a barcode here that is stored. And then we can then enter the student name let's say the student name is Davis Davis Johnson and there so we need to enter the mode of studies let's assume it's a full-time student and that is what he has to pay there now those are the details of Davis Johnson and if you guys look straight into this list box there you will notice the details of David Johnson is not on the system I'm now going to add the details of David Johnson click on add and let's scroll right down and there we go that's the details of David Johnson right there the other thing that we can do with this system is we can decide to search for a candidate let's assume we want to search for the following student search and that's a captain Allen and he happens to be a part taking a part-time course with us and if you come right down here you notice there's two record of captain Allen right there and we can always make use of our delete button delete and let's scroll right down the details of Captain Allen here yeah. and and that is it right there and what the other thing you can do is we can use our spin navigator look at that okay and we can there we go and there that is dynamic hunter let's see with the spin navigator now let's okay let's update the details of dynamic hunter supposing the student id is incorrect okay that is dynamic hunter in there so let's just enter maybe 45 and click on update yes confirm that and let's check for that dynamic hunter that must have been changed that is it right there it's now changed to 45 right there okay and we also have another one here which means we can always delete that one there gone as you can see and we have more than one grace more delete and if we go straight onto the workbook we should be able to see all of the changes that we've carried out there and right there that's Alan and that's Davis okay. this is just an overview guys so i'm going to take you guys straight into excel development environment using vba and we'll put one of these together this is just an overview bye for now